Right, welcome back to Frodo's Journey, part 15. And we are going to see if we can swim the rest of the way along the Great River. I have absolutely no idea if we can do this. We'll probably end up dying. But we're going to get out to the river anyway and we're going to start swimming. Then we'll see. There's a big turtle. But uh, we are too high a level for that thing to bother us. But let me tell you, we're coming up to a point very soon where we are not high enough level to get into some of the places Frodo needs to go. And it's going to take a long time for this character, a hobbit, to continue, Frodo, to continue Frodo's journey. So we've got some choices to make. Option A is to get a character that I've got in another server who is high enough level. He's done all the mortar stuff and can go through that. Or we can have a break from Frodo for a while and uh, get the Hobbit up to this Hobbit up to a level good enough to deal with Mordor, and maybe do some other journey, maybe Bilbo's journey. We could start that off. Be interesting. Uh, mm, yes. So don't know. I guess we're gonna have to see. Interesting question is right now whether we can get down the Great River all the way to Parth Galan, and I don't know if we can. We can swim a fair way. But it's all kind of tedious. Let's have a look around here. We have a bit of Rohan and weeds over that way. We have mountains over that side, so there's nothing terribly great to look at. Oh, now we're running. Find a bit of shallow stuff. But well, we can swim a fair bit down here, uh, I think. The question is whether we can go through the gorge where the Argonauts are, and uh, well, we're going to find out. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time as well because my recording software isn't staying with me on the time. So we started this there, right? Yeah, good. So. There is stuff here. On the left hand we have the brown lands, and, um, which is kind of interesting because the brown lands are mentioned in, in The Hobbit, but actually Bilbo never comes anywhere near this particular part of Middle Earth. So anyway, they're called the brown lands in this game. Just carted the boats across a bit of land there. That was. And there's a bit of stuff to do over there. And I think that somewhere around here on the way down the Great River, the Fellowship saw Black Swan, so it'll be interesting to see whether the game has them in. Does that game sound a bit loud, do you think? Could turn it down a fraction, maybe. See, is that a bit better? Let's see. So talking about black swans, I don't see any yet. Haven't seen any so far. There's some dudes over in the brown lands, so all nasty stuff there. Unfortunately that's not the way we go because we could get out there, but I don't think it takes us into Mordor anyway, so no hope there really. Entering the rush gore. Uh this is a swampy bit. And, uh, what's that thing? Don't know. Oh, some kind of insect -y thing. Right. Uh huh. What have we got on our right here? Well, Rohan, early Rohan stuff, maybe, uh, coming down there. On the left, we have the brown lands. that. Some, oh, some big saber tooth cat. <laughs> Hopefully we're high enough level to avoid it. I see that night is falling so we're gonna get a starry sky maybe if we're lucky for the rest of our journey. Let's see if any of these... what other wildlife we have here. I'm seeing that there are things across the river here so Maybe we just have to get on land and run across. But why not? We're following the rivers, so that's all we have to do. 
if you were doing this in a boat, you'd get out, put your boat over the top, and then get back in the boat again. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. There's some dude there. Uh, I don't think he's an issue for us. We'll stick over to the <coughs> the western bank and avoid the eastern bank if we can. See a ca Oh, look, 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 look! Swans, black swans. How exciting! They were mentioned in the book, and there they are. I, isn't that amazing? There they are. Huh? Gonna swim straight through them, see what they do. Let's see. Oh, they just carry on fishing. They don't care. They're just parked there. Right? Excellent. Oh, no. We got a bit of aggression. We got a bit of aggro from them. Haha. <laughs> Excellent. So, let's see how we're going. Uh, what have we got? Another 10 minutes swimming, and we'll see where we get to. We may die. I have no idea if you can do this or not. So we're going to swim all the way down here. Swim down the Great River. Cruising down the river on a sunny afternoon. Nurse! Nurse! He's out of his bed again. So, um... Yes. Stuff happening up there, look. That's all that. Anyway, obviously there's nothing uh, much... There's no game in the river, you see? That's the problem. Nobody comes this way. <coughs> I've never come this way in the game, so, uh, you know, there's just nothing to do. But there's obviously... There's stuff happening over there in the brown lands, as you can see. This is all... Um, Hillman tents, or Sutherland, Sutherlander tents, or something, or East Easterners, or something. But we're just gonna keep swimming down the river. And it's kind of good to get this over with, I suppose, but... At least we'll do it once. <coughs> once we've done it once, we've done it for every character. Oh, look at the sky coming up in the river, isn't that nice? At least when we've done it once for every, you know, for the fellowship, every everybody in the fellowship comes this way. So if we're going to do Boromir's journey, well, yeah, we can't, we can't do that apart from going back in time. Uh, are we going to do Legolas and Gimli and Aragorn's journey? Are we going to do Pippin and Merry's journey? They all are going to start from the end of this swim. Spoilers, by the way. Of course, if you have not already read Lord of the Rings, you should stop now and go and read it. There's a link in my description. Buy the book from Amazon. There's a lovely uh, illustrated copy there. Alan Lee and all that kind of stuff. So that would be good. And uh, yes. Are we going to hit a wall here somewhere? I mean, we're getting to the point where we can't get out. See that? That's all this steep slope on the right hand side here. We could get out there. But we're not getting out over here anywhere. We're not getting out there. So this is pretty amazing. Oh, we just... Wow. Sun's going down too. We're going to be doing this in night, in night time. Look at that lovely sunset in... It doesn't actually move. It goes in jerks. This... The... The... the, the the day in Lotro. I think we get um, every hour. We get daytime for an hour, and then we get nighttime for an hour, and then it goes back to daytime for an hour. It's the way the time works in this game, or maybe it's two hours. But uh, I think it's one hour. One hour daylight, daytime, and then one hour nighttime, and then one hour daytime, and then one hour nighttime. So, as you can see, uh, it's getting close. We're in evening. And the sun will set shortly. And we're heading straight for it. We could get out there in the brown lands, I suppose. But we're not getting out on the right-hand side, on the western side of the Great River. How are we doing for time? Another seven minutes, and that'll be enough of this. I don't know where we can get out. Oh, East Demnet. We're in two now. Another change in the sky, look a bit cloudy. 
The weather changes a little bit as you change from one zone to another too. It's really obvious when you're swimming. wonder where we are. Let's look at the map. Uh, we'll put up the thing. We'll have a look at the map. Ooh. Still got a long way to swim. <laughs> East wall. Well, maybe we can get there. There's a thing that, that says you can get there, so... Let's keep going. We may have to stop this video in the middle of the swim. Maybe we'll just carry on until we get to the Argonoth. That's what I'm going to do. It's six minutes to go, and I think that swim's longer than that, but we'll see how we go. Nope. So what should we talk about while we're swimming? I don't know. Um, we were talking about the casting of Lord of the Rings in the last video, and uh, we talked about the Fellowship of the Ring. I guess the... Uh, the other characters. It wasn't Andy Circus. Let's talk about Gollum and Andy Circus and his amazing uh, presentation of that character because a lot of that was done with CGI but modeled on Andy Circus's physical movements and of course he did the voice and that voice was processed to sound more Gollum-ish. But what a great character. In fact, it's arguable whether Gollum is in fact the hero of Lord of the Rings or the anti-hero and certainly plays a vital role in the in the whole story. I've told everyone about spoilers, right? So <coughs> I mean if it wasn't for Gollum Frodo would never have been able to dispose of the ring and that makes us think but is it, it's, it's really a story about two addicts isn't it? The, the, the whole of Lord of the Rings the, the addiction to the ring and the people who don't want to be addicted just say no, you know, the old the old story about drugs, don't just say no and um, and Frodo's because he hasn't said no, he's, he's got the ring, he's addicted to it and in the end he can't let go of it and then we have Gollum who's had it forever, pretty much and uh, he's lost it and he wants it back. So he's out for his next fix, essentially. And, and if it wasn't for that, Frodo would never have been able to let go of the ring. Well, he wouldn't have been able to let go of it, so Gollum took it off him in the end and fell into the fire. But Andy Serkis's rendition of Gollum was amazing. There, there is an interesting change in, in the first movie, Fellowship of the Ring, Gollum was kind of a very vague character. I think we saw his face once. Uh, very different to what turns up in the second movie. But the second movie, Gollum plays such a big part, they had to get it right, and they put a lot of effort in to the CGI. And Oh, there's something going across the river here. Is that right? Is that, is that what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a blockage of some kind. We may have to get out and walk. That's weird stuff over there. Look, I've never seen that before. Coming a whole new way here. We could get out of the river here if we needed to. Let's see how far we can go via the river. Still brown lands and stuff over there. Oh, we're walking now. This looks like just some kind of crossing, so we should be able to get on the other side of it and continue swimming. I'm, I'm conscious of the time. I think we've been at this for quite a while now, but we'll see how far we can get. This looks like Easterling Camps to me. South Undeep? I have never been here before. We better just check the level. I might get killed. Hang on a second. Oh no. We're okay yet. So, um... They've built that thing across there, but that looks like just an island, right? So you could go around the other side, but we'll just get out and walk because it'll be faster. Let's go. <coughs> Might take a quick shortcut here because, unfortunately, there isn't any character. I, I don't. They brought in a swashbuckler character with uh, one of the expansions recently, and maybe the swashbuckler can swim faster. That would be good. A character that can swim faster. We've got the hunter who can run faster. Oh, we're running. Oh, this is good. Covering a bit of territory now. It's like a speedboat. <laughs> hey! 
Let's go. We're gonna. This is not gonna last, is it? Still, we're heading down here, heading down the Great River. Oh, okay. Well, it lasted for a while. And uh, I reckon five more minutes we might get to these Argonauts. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Keep going. And we have the mountains of uh, Sarn Gabir on, uh, in both sides here. This whole area is called Sarn Gabir. And um, it, just, it looks like we can swim the whole way, though. This is amazing. I mean, nobody in the right mode would ever do this in the game because it just takes too long. But we'll get it over with. We'll get as far as the Argonauts if we can. We'll stop there and then we get to the last stage of our journey. Uh, maybe in one video. I take it back. I think it must have been Dawn we were looking at recently. Hmm? Where's the sun set? I'm not quite sure. Uh, it looks like daytime up there though. Morning. Okay. Let's get rid of that. As you can see, I'm only on level 107 or something, so this is way too low a level to get into Mordor. So we're going to have to think about that. Think about that in the next video. Um, Gollum. Gollum, the character Gollum. What a great character. And the... Uh, that... that um, personality. Division. What do they call that? Um... We've got good Gollum and bad Gollum. What 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 does Sam call them? Uh, slinker and Stinker. This is a great way of describing them. Uh, Tolkien must have had great fun writing that, I think. Um, so these two personalities, one obsessed with the ring, and the other one actually getting back the the old Smeagol, and he actually probably wasn't very nice anyway in the first place, but at least he wasn't totally evil, which is what the Gollum part of Smeagol is. But beautifully done. And beautifully represented in the movies. Um, a few little wrinkles in the story, but just to give us a little bit more drama, I suppose, in the movies compared to... I mean, the... Um, Sam wasn't actually repelled by Frodo because of what Gollum said just before entering um, Shelob's lair but you got to allow them a little bit of movement what other characters came up in the second movie so we have Eowyn Eowyn was done very well I'd, I can't I don't know the name of the actress but uh, she did a great job uh, a, a little expanded portrayal of the character in the movies compared to the book. Eowyn is... Eowyn doesn't get as much in the book and and her... Although I suppose at the end, Eowyn gets more at the end than in the book than she does in the movies in Return of the King. Gosh, this is a long swim, isn't it? Goodness me. I know that you people watching the video can probably just scoot along and see how long this actually takes. How long have we been at this now? This is at least 20 minutes. But we could pull over here. I think we will pull over here. We'll see if we can do the last stage of the swim later. Another time. So Eowyn was good. Who else turns up in um, Theoden? King Theoden. He was great, wasn't he? The actor who played King Theoden again. I don't have the acting list. I don't have the list here handy. Uh, Bernard, Bernard Lee. No, that's the guy from James Bond, isn't it? Uh, he was great. Super, super performance. I thought. Um, Return of the King. What else? Who else appeared? We got Gollum. Not Return of the King. Um, the Two Towers. Saruman, Christopher Lee. How good was he? Just amazing stuff. Is this a boat? Don't tell me that's a boat. Christopher Lee was incredible as Saruman. And in fact, he turns up in uh, the Fellowship anyway. We should have mentioned him before. 
But he was great. I mean, you can't... You can't do much better than Christopher Lee. And, um... I think it's a guy fishing. It's as if nothing's happening around him. There's a war going on, mate. And you're just standing there fishing. Look at him. He's doing, is, is that a spay cast? No, he's just... We can all do a bit of fishing, you know. I'm going to do a bit of fishing with him. Let's join in with the fishing. I think Frodo's can do a bit of fishing. Let's get our fishing rod. There we go. We're going to do a bit of fishing as well. Here we go. We'll all join in. There it is. And we're just waiting for a fish to bite. That's what we're doing. This guy's doing better than we are. Maybe. Uh, uh, Drunk was pretty good at fishing, actually. He did. Uh, let's see what we got. What did we catch? We got a fish. We got a fish. Hey, hey. What was that? A char. Try one more. I know this video's got ridiculously long. But we had to liven things up a bit. <laughs> We've livened it up with a bit of fishing. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Um, who else was in the two towers? Uh, oh, we've got the bad guy. Um, Worm Tongue. Worm Tongue was great, wasn't he? That, he did a brilliant job. That guy who played Worm Tongue as well. Again, don't have the actor's name to hand. That's enough. Have I got two chars? No, it's, it's a minnow. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it at that, and we're gonna swim the rest of the way in the next video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're still with me, thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying it, and um, we'll see you next time.